All right, Trails West 2001 Adventure Four Horse Stock. Came with this nice, and here was a water tank, which we've really enjoyed and used. It's got Trails West on it. Pretty sure it's made by High Country Plastics. Don't know that for sure. And this is the front of it. This is where it exits, or where the outlet is. I'll do this slow. Overflow tube. Okay. And you can see, well, rub marks there, but more importantly, this hole opening for the outlet, see if I can get it to focus, has got, you can see where it's been rubbing. That opening needs to be bigger. As it has rubbed a groove in the outlet pipe right here. The dent is there, the threads are gone. You can see where it's black there, where it's been hitting that edge of the opening. And it leaks right here, or maybe here, it's hard to tell. But I put some water in it, held my hand over the, a small amount of water, held my hand over the end and it's leaking from in here. And uh, so, in advance, to cure it, I've put these wedges, shims in there to hold it in position. I centered it, the outlet on the hole, and then shimmed it and taped them into place. I don't want them to fall down. It's really tight. But on the other hand, I, I thought about screwing, you know, drilling through them and screwing them in or gluing them in then I won't be able to adjust them. So we're going to try that. The problem is there is a crack in here somewhere where it's leaking. So we're going to get out the JB Weld water weld epoxy putty. So what I've done here is put the putty all the way up onto the threads. I'm just about to thread that on. And I'm hoping that two things happens. It seals any leaks and where the thread is damaged and I thread the, the uh, valve on there that um, it'll take care of any leaking through the damaged threads. And in fact, maybe if I have to take it off someday, it'll actually form and make new threads there on the outlet. We'll see. Okay, I tried to center it in the hole that they provided for the outlet as best I could. It's not perfect, but we're going to trust the JB Weld. I've got water in it up to here, and we've got no drips. Yay. I've added another shim here because I tried to, this one's tight after I put it in. We got a uh, gap here, but seems to be a problem with the design, the, or maybe not the design, but when it was empty and I tried to push it back, uh, that's where it ends up if you want it tight with these shims and everything so that's where she's gonna be gotta reattach the drain hose we're good to go we'll leave the bucket under there and make sure we don't get any water hope that helps somebody in trying to figure out where the leak is the threads or not and it turned out i think it's it was both in this case from the tank sliding around and hitting that opening.